Key documents about a mysterious foundation loaning money to New Zealand First have been leaked to RNZ, detailing why the New Zealand First Foundation was set up, how it would operate and who knew about the idea from the outset. The documents show Winston Peters, who has tried to distance himself from the foundation, was at a New Zealand First board meeting in March 2017, where the board agreed to the concept of establishing the foundation. Another document details how the foundation will operate and talks about seeking donors who would then be offered a tiered donation structure with benefits adhering to each tier. Guyon Espiner has been investigating and joins me now in the studio. Guyon, this sounds fascinating. So what do the documents show? Well, Lisa, these documents take us right back to the very start, the very time when the idea, the concept of this New Zealand First Foundation was first started. Now, one of them is from May of 2017. The title of this document we've got is A Proposal to Establish a Strategic Fundraising and Management Vehicle for New Zealand First. It sets out how this would work. It says it would be a legally established autonomous organisation operating independently of the party board. It talks about contributors and how that would work. It says contributors will be support for money for the party and then this tiered donation structure will kick in. It says there'll be different benefits uh, depending on which tier you are. So uh, what level of donor you are, different benefits would adhere to that, but it does not go into exactly what the benefits would be offered to donors. And we don't know what the what makes you gold class donor as such. We don't know that. What this does, it sets out the idea right from the outset and how it will work. We don't know what those benefits are. It does not say that in the document. OK, so does it tell us anything about why they felt the need to set this up? It comes down to money, unsurprisingly, but their frustration at their ability to fundraise. It's very clear from this document. It says that the electorates are gen- generally pretty weak and that the board itself is having trouble raising money. And it talks about needing to find a better model to actually do this. And it looks to the National Party. And there's a very interesting quote here. The precedent is clear, this document says, it is the National Party's National Foundation. In essence, this proposal suggests a cloning of that model into the New Zealand First Foundation. It goes on to say that National's model is legally sound and operated in a manner that meets all legal and ethical obligations. So they are looking to National and, in their words, cloning their model. Oh, uh biggest form of flattery, isn't it, to follow on from what someone else has done? So, okay, what do we know about um, how it would all operate? Well, they talk about setting up a capital fund, a capital protected fund is the words that they're using, and they explain what they mean by this, that the contributions that go into it would never be removed, and instead they'll be invested, and the proceeds would ensure this revenue stream for the party, right? So that is uh, to establish a, a stable and diverse fund for the party to support their activities in the long term. They're very much about that. And they say that that will eliminate the ad hoc nature of their fundraising efforts so far. So never touch the principle. That's what they say, right. although there are uh, doubts uh, from people that I've spoken to about whether that has always actually been the case. We don't know. There is nothing in these documents to suggest how the money has actually been spent. These documents that we got talk about how this was set up, why this was set up, what the idea was. OK, another critical thing that you've been seeking information on and he hasn't been saying a lot is Winston Peters. So does this shared any light on the role he has played or not. Well, it absolutely does. Um, And you'll remember that, um, as you say there, he's tried to distance himself quite a lot from the foundation. He was asked by media um, a few days back, and he responded by saying, quote, I look after the political wing of New Zealand first. This is an administrative matter, and you've got to ask somebody else, end quote. So we, we have been looking for what his role is. What we've got now is proof that Winston Peters was there at that March 2017 board meeting. We know that. We know that this meeting of the board where this idea was suggested, he was there. We know that they went on to say that this would be a permanent, a constantly operating entity at this board meeting where he was and would reflect the maturity of the party. So it's not a passing reference. There's detailed information, or at least some information about that, and he was there at that meeting. Now, we also know from other documents that a couple of months later, in May, there was a recommendation to the board 
um, of New Zealand first to agree to the concept of establishing this foundation. And then this is key too, that they would then request the leader to select an appropriate legal advisor to develop the model that they've been talking about. That is the recommendation. Of course, we know now the two trustees are Brian Henry, who is Winston Peters' lawyer, and Doug Wollerton, a former MP, who runs his uh, his own lobbying firm called mm. the, the Lobbyist. Now, I tried to talk to Doug Wollerton today. He won't say anything on the record about this at all. I've, I've tried him many times. He said no. I did talk to the Electoral Commission. Uh, they said they're looking into questions raised about New Zealand First and the New Zealand First Foundation regarding compliance with the requirements for donations and loans. So that's where they're at. And no further word from Winston Peters at this stage? No, but we'll be trying him for comment on, on, his, uh, on his role and the fact that he was present at that meeting where it was suggested. Thanks for that. This guy on Espiner with the latest in that ongoing saga around the New Zealand First Foundation. Some interesting documents that um, RNZ and Guy on has dug up. We will keep you posted with any developments.